All right, so let us consider this question that we are given uh, still on our algebraic expressions. So this was a June exam that we're given. Question number five, consider the expression below. So we are given an expression, this one, the whole part of this expression. So they're saying, consider this expression below and then answer the questions that follow. So you must answer the question. These questions that we are seeing here are from this expression. Okay, so let, uh, let us just consider how we are supposed to answer this question. The first question was rewrite the expression in descending order. What is the descending order? The descending order is like uh, you're writing from 10, 9, 8, 7. Th that is decreasing from the biggest value decreasing so in this case you have to consider uh the degree uh of the exponent that you're given the exponent the one that has got the highest exponent is supposed to start okay when it is descending ascending you start with a constant like one plus x plus maybe three x squared plus you are increasing this is ascending increasing in terms of the exponents starting with one and so forth so in this case you are going to start with the bigger exponent uh to this constant so the highest exponent is on three this one is three which is on minus four x you take it as it is so it's minus four x to the exponent of three okay followed by what two this one which is taken as what plus 3x squared as it is with a sign plus 3x squared, okay? You move on to this one, it's, it's a one. Whenever you see x is same, there is a one. So this is taken as it is minus 4x. So this is minus 4x. So as you can see, 3, 2, 1. And the last one must be the constant, which is 9. So it's just plus 9, okay? Our constant is positive. So the sign is a plus. Take note what you are given from there. This is the descending order. You are writing this expression uh, starting with the bigger value to the, to the constant in that manner. So you must be careful how these questions are, are given. Very, very careful how these questions are given. All right, let us consider uh, what we have on B, how many terms are there in the expression? In this expression that we are given before, how many terms, the terms that you are considering, you can just count from here. You can also count from both. This is the same expression, all right? So how many terms? Let's count together uh, these terms that we have. So this is one, two, three, four. So there are four terms that we can actually see uh, on this expression that we are given. So the answer there was just going to be a four. All right. Then the other question, what is the coefficient? The coefficient of x squared. The coefficient of x squared. Remember, the coefficient is the number that is just before the term, the variable, just like three x like this 3x the number before this the number that is multiplying this three is the coefficient of x so if you're given maybe uh minus 5x squared the coefficient of x squared you just take what is multiplying that number that is the coefficient of that term so in this case x squared this is where our x squared is uh on this part here this is where our x squared is. So the number that is affecting x squared is what? Is plus three. The number does, just, just before that, the number multiplying that term, you must consider, take note, what is it? It's x squared. So the coefficient there is plus three. So if the question was, what is the coefficient of x cubed? What was going to be your answer? The coefficient of x cubed, you consider where x cubed is here. So the coefficient, the number that is multiplying there is what? Is minus four. So the coefficient was going to be minus four. What is the coefficient of X? The coefficient of X, you consider where X is. 
the number that is multiplying x is what is minus four here is just a constant nine is just a constant so they are not going to ask you for the coefficient of nine because nine is a what it's a constant okay so this is what you're given there then determine on d uh d we asked to determine the value of the expression if x is equal to minus one so you can substitute back to the original expression which is fine you can also substitute in this expression where you have already uh, written in this ascending order i mean descending order it's up to you all right so you're just gonna substitute so here i'm just gonna use this one you can even use that original one but what they are saying is that find the value when x is minus one you substitute wherever you see x you are going to put minus one there so this is it minus four into you just open a bracket you put minus one inside you raise to the exponent of three Okay, plus a three like this, you put minus one inside here. So it's minus one to the exponent of a two. Minus four times X is minus four. You put minus one there, then plus a nine. So wherever you see where there was X, we had to substitute, we had to put in minus one, which is the value of X that we are given there. So we can simplify these. Remember, it's three marks, so you can just try to simplify uh, one, one. In this case, each stage, uh, that is minus to the exponent of three. Remember, a negative, when raised to an odd, when raised to an odd number, it will, it will remain a negative, will remain as a negative. So this is going to be minus four times uh, minus one, okay? Plus three into minus one when raised to the exponent of two two is an even number if a negative is raised to an even number it tends to be a positive okay so this will be a positive one so we are going to have a positive one all right then then there there's a minus four times minus one plus a nine okay let's multiply expand now the brackets remember your board mass so it's minus four and minus one you're multiplying negative negative what happens if you multiply a negative to a negative, it becomes a positive. That's four times one. Okay, three times one, that's a positive three. Minus and minus, that's a positive. A negative to a negative, that's a positive. Then plus nine at the end. So you add everything that you're given there. Uh, you can even use your calculator. That is going to give you a 20 at the end. So this is how your algebraic expressions might be given as in your final examinations, you are supposed to expect questions of this nature. So like I said, even this one, they can even ask you to rewrite this. Maybe they asked you to write it in ascending order. What, how are you going to write it if they said ascending order? So ascending, you are increasing, starting with a constant. So this time you start with a constant, which is nine uh, to the part with X to the exponent of one, which is minus four X. You are increasing from constant one, two. So you need the two, this one, uh, three X squared. All right. And the last one to the exponent of three, which is minus four X to the exponent of three. They can even ask a question uh, when they ask you in ascending order. This was going to be your answer. But for the descending order, which is this one that we had, this was going to be our answer when it is like that. So these are your typical questions. More to come uh, till we meet again.